Now there's one more propagation effect, and that is called interference. 50 different pins here, sorry guys, I'm keeping track of them all. Interference. This is outside signals. <clears throat> um, we'll just put our also conducted by the media, okay? And if I go back here to my smoke signal, there's my smoke signal, right? If there was other clouds or other smoke in the sky, then I would worry about people being able to see my own signal. They would have to be really close, right? We'll talk about interference. Well, another interference would be if you think about your wireless connection, it, you know, if I have my iPhone and I'm trying to s communicate with my iPhone, the person next to me also has an iPhone and is trying to communicate. I intuitively understand, don't I? If we both transmit at the same time, our signals will overlap each other and they won't be able to see. So here's our issue with interference. Let me just draw a little graph here. Let's think for a little bit about wireless. If you think about wireless, if we put this as the distance, and let's go out here to 50 meters, okay? This graph I'll call power. So this is how strong my signal is when it's received. Wireless has what's called the inverse square law of attenuation. You guys all know that. So this graph is going to be 1 over x squared. So I start out nice and high. And my power goes down in a curve. You all graphed this, right, with your little TI whatever calculators. I can draw that out a little further. So there's my signal. And again, it's really strong if I'm up close. So if I'm really close to my wireless access point, I have a really strong signal. But the further I get away, the more the signal gets weak. Now I understand way out here, eventually the signal is just too low that I can't see the signal at all. But a big, big problem with wireless is that my signal is not the only signal out there. Not only are there other people with wireless connections, but there's also illumin or uh, fluorescent lights around. Let me try to get this drawn in a good, plot, good spot. There's fluorescent lights and motors and uh, microwave ovens and all sorts of things. This would just be background noise. Okay, all the equipment out there that produces electrical and radio signal, sunspots, I don't know, all that stuff, adds up to being background noise. <coughs> An important part of, what's this going to be? This will probably be about 20 meters out. One of the most important measures is in wireless especially is what's called the signal to noise ratio. So if I take my signal here, and it's this high, and I ratio it to the noise level, which is this high, then I would know how much more powerful my signal is than my noise. And it just has to be high enough. I'm not going to give you a number, because I really don't get into it that much. But the signal ratio has to be high enough to, we'll just put read the signal. Because the noise is the problem. Once I get down into here, I am too far. Okay. And what's my solution, by the way? If I'm carrying my laptop away and let's say I get you know, 35 meters away and I suddenly can't really connect to the access point anymore, what is our advice as a network administrator when they call us and say, my laptop doesn't go more than 35 meters away from an access point? And our advice is, don't go 35 meters away. It has to be less. That's the main advice we have in, at the physical layer for people. 
If you go too far that we can't read signals, you've gone too far, so back up a little bit. So this is why you generally have these distance limitations. Now one other note is there may be sudden noise spikes. Okay, so maybe I'm 10 meters out and all of a sudden someone that's even closer to the wireless access point starts transmitting. Okay, this is going to knock my signal out. Okay, in fact we're going to knock each other out. But these kind of signals are okay. So we'll put this intermittent intermittent noise we'll just put we can deal with we'll just put we can deal with it normally we're just going to have to deal with it as a you know a retransmitted frame that sort of thing but once there's a you know if someone is interfering you know in an intermittent way we'll deal with it but we can't deal with the background noise <coughs> 